Royal author Phil Dampier believes Lady Louise could prove to be the monarchy's secret weapon in the near future. As the granddaughter of the Queen, the 17-year-old is entitled to the HRH style and title of Princess, however, her parents Sophie and Prince Edward decided against making her HRH Princess Louise upon birth to give her a childhood as normal as possible. But Louise will be able to make her own decision regarding her future position within the royal family after she turns 18, on November 8. According to Mr. Dampier, the teenager could be incredibly beneficial to the firm if she decided to become a working member. He told the Daily Telegraph, because she's the granddaughter of the Queen, Lady Louise can call herself a princess when she becomes 18 it's theoretically up to her. And there's a strong argument for her doing, she seems to be very mature for her age and she's shaping up to be precisely the kind of person the Queen can rely on in the future. Could there be a role for her in a slimmed down monarchy? The Queen and Philip had 1,500 patronages between them. You have to ask yourself who is going to continue their legacy with Harry and Meghan and Prince Andrew off the scene? There's a huge work. The Countess of Wessex opened up on the decision to give freedom to her daughter and son, James, Viscount Seven, to choose for themselves whether they want to live as private citizens or become public servants as working royals. She told the Sunday Times last summer, we try to bring them up with the understanding they are very likely to have to work for a living. Hence we made the decision not to use HRH title, they have them and can decide to use them from 18, but I think it's highly unlikely. Lady Louise took royal watches by storm on Wednesday with her appearance on a BBC documentary honouring Prince Philip. This programme included her first ever interview, in which she affectionately spoke about her grandfather and their shared passion for carriage drive. Appearing on Prince Philip, the royal family remembers, Louise said, The Duke of Edinburgh has been so involved in my driving which has been so lovely although slightly scary because he invented the sport pretty much. It's incredible to have learned first hand. After a competition, he would always ask how it went. His eyes would light up because he just gets so excited when he talks about it. When we would go carriage driving, he would take me on a different route every day. I do not know how he managed to do that, and tell me all sorts of anecdotes about anything and everything. He is honestly one of the most interesting people I have ever met. Following the death of Prince Philip in April, it was reported Louise had inherited his carriage and ponies. During the BBC film, Louise also voiced how she wanted to make the late royal proud by taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme he launched in the mid-1950s. She said, there was certainly an element of making my grandfather proud and honouring him by taking part in the award that has been so much of his life's work. I definitely hope I have made him proud.